rock. Trying to not for Where we are. Oh, my bad. With the 44. 43. We're not driving. I'm letting the AI drive without. With, with headlights turned on. So you've got a couple of minutes still. But. I'm going to go out for a while. Although the route. Oops, the stuff I could have upgrades and so forth done to it. And I'm starting off with both island lines, I'm going to say. Because in some sense, yes, this will count for both. That's the first time I'm doing the AI to drive with the, cap, with the headlock, with the passenger lights on. Get out of the way. Um, so, yeah. Those because yeah they would probably be open this time of year. <laughs> um bip, bip, tee, tee. we're not going anywhere for some time. Yeah. For about three minutes. But hey ho. We're on the oh, because I can bow it. Oh god the camera. I've got on how horrifically bad the camera was. That's one which will be updated. <laughs> and camera on this, instead of it being a uh, bit all over the place and loose. But hey, oh. Alright, uh, well, I'm going to need to get going first, but I will say, like I said, this is for upgrades and so forth. In some sense, yes, future DLC ideas, in some senses of it. Straight away, I'm just going to say, root up, right straight off to the PSW3. Looks with tunnels, lighting, snow, all of this is possible, obviously. And, once we get going, at least, I am sat down, aren't right? you? Yeah. Why isn't 8 key, the um, 3 can working? certain points that could be done starting with just the 404 we're not 403 we're not going to bother looking at the bugs <laughs> sweet, the bug. um well to be fair the mod wooden slide is actually pretty accurate to be honest minus the river games adverts <laughs> and matt there would there was there is a still what these on these there was a steam rail one that actually looked like that to be honest it was exactly that one there and the map is actually accurate to what on the map was on Island Line ish. That's the net I believe that's the network southeast period map. Based map. Since after South when Southwest trains to got the license in from state office for stagecoach. It was literally upgrade dated to pretty much a a moving picture sort of thing. From the pier all the way to Shanghai. Afternoon. <laughs> You've been rude. I love it. But yeah. These lights on. <laughs> anyway. Let's make it different. That is not realistic. But what well, I'll start off with the sounds. Yeah. They really could do with a bit of work. That is way too quiet and way too unrealistic. And also, that is not 10 mile an hour. 
this is, we're going 20 at this point, not yet. 20. That is not 10. Which is what the limit up here is for the road. So, like I said, sounds on this could be a massive update. Especially as I've just decided that windows do not have any defenses. Which, in fact, they would. And this is way too smooth on the pair. <laughs> Trust me, if you haven't been to it, you yeah, know. And also, I'm going to keep it into the. Sorry for the camera. We've got tail lights on the rear, on the front. That's a new bug. <laughs> but, network southeast period, despite it's set. 2019 pretty much pre-upgrade just before the upgrade really happened but like I said I'm gonna stick it as the um, June network south east space so we'll get two rides at John's soon but first things first obviously there's not much I can speak because but it is pretty accurate to what it is like. The platform should be perhaps a bit more overgrown <laughs> by plant life on that plat on platform to light estimate, but and the ramp should probably be in there. But so uh, once again, I can't out this camera. No, there's not even a proof of the um under the passageway. I'm just getting into the nitty gritty now. Trust me, though, this won't be the first, and this won't be the end. This one will be to the first, and it won't be the first. last. And away we go. And the other things are there's PSI at every platform, which is really unrealistic. But for the game sense, yeah, that's fine. And also, go for the camera. Who picked all the double deckers? <laughs> So the, the sign on say about by a tunnel of length. I might see it through the train or not. There you go. It's just on the wall. I'm not sure that's that's just the game making the lights a lot more like that. Can't remember if you can open this window up here. No, you cannot. No, you can slam the door in your face. Those windows were quite often open during the summer, to be honest. Because <laughs> just these windows were not enough. <laughs> it would get warm there. Um, once we get out the tunnel. Uh, not far. Come on. So, you stick and move the network south east thing. I've got my numbers, but for, few, for one future DLC, especially, ju and I mean, perhaps this is just a Lego one. Because like, I don't think this really would require room due to its network south east, obviously liveried, class 03. Uh, two class 03 diesel shunters, I shouldn't say. Which are uh, not on the island anymore. It's not one that's Haven Street. It's they're North London somewhere, and they were in service still up to a couple of years ago, I believe. Still in actual active service. Not on a heritage railway. I'm not sure where though. But when it comes to the future, that it'd be that for the actual uh, online itself for the trains to be used on it. A class A5 diesel shunter in the period for this, for the 38 stop being here, would be very realistic on my own line. Due to it was a trail that dumped it up at the line up for small between Smallbrook and Haven Street and left the key in it. With a lot of diesel still on it. Mm, we're coming into ride. St. John's. Very unrealistic. <laughs> PSI balls. 
So I'm gonna. Can I get the camera to not? No. It feels like a floating around thing right here. But hey, uh, there should be on here. This is a small bit, but there is a British Rail painted sign on that. Door sign. The yard is way too empty. If you've ever been to the yard, especially when the 38 stock was in service, I'm so tempted to do this front card and turn the headlights on. It will, was well, at least busy. There was a couple. The, the, the um, trains parked up mostly when there two of them in service. All the ones are either parked up with dead or 009, which was the Shunton one dump, dumped in the yard somewhere and since it's based on the time period like I said 004 would have been parked down here defeated them dumped down here because it died the year before we I'm super not good for camera in this one obviously back of steam that was the sheds over that side as well that's the back is the original shed there? Uh, that's not. That's pre steam shed. Off we go. Um, I feel weird. Oh my god, there's headlights and tail lights on that. God. Um, but, like I said, the yard should be a lot more filled up. But with it, if a car so free, you could probably do that and actually have some shunting some, some during the day with it. Because they did, there is a. Connection bar, which is actually now at the steam railway. We've got the Dotto 7 at Avon Street now, which we used to shove the E38 into train store. And they would have had that down here. And they probably would have had it in the ship somewhere. Off we go to 35. 45. I can't believe this is a service that stops at small work. It probably doesn't. But since we're on the way to small work, I'm never going to enjoy these sounds. Technically, this is going to be a route. <laughs> because it's the steam mile. For now, for at least just for lease, I'm not sure because it's hard any more than just invincible and not just invincible on its own because that is just a ridiculous special what the what the hell this is the AI trying to keep at 45 <laughs> but yeah oh, but if we are stopping by the sound feels of it we are but, like I said, Steam Maui, with the kind of timetable, it'd be easier. <laughs> Instead of trying to go back in time and getting the timetable from this year. I will be stopping at a... But, yeah. I'll go around. Still doesn't learn to turn the power off. Um, so, yeah, have the Steam Maui up here. These trees are not realistic. <laughs> They are not there in real life. You can clearly see both lines in real life. And also, there's a signal box missing. I'll come back to that, it be easier. Let's talk a bit more. But otherwise, the route from this point on, apart from the sounds, is actually pretty accurate, to be honest. All of this is, to be honest. What says that plat double the second platform down shrink is missing most of it. And that braiding, I'm not gonna count it but on the forward floor. The um temporary bridge is missing, but yeah, I'm not gonna count that because I hate it. Um I think that would be for a train ride. Cause yeah, that's the sounds dealt with. And the and the, the signal boxes is missing on both 484 and the 483's version. Come on, game. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So a very basic route you've just come from. Come on. Um, let's do the 484. Let me use one actually. 
and small book. So off the on my PSI board does not exist at small book. Obviously, fair enough, I'm not going to say anything this up, because that is, i jump myself off the platform. That should be a lot bigger though. And there's a spawn point right <laughs> behind there. It's <coughs> why they didn't try and hide that, to be honest. But, you've got wide. Oh, yeah, actually, can, oh no. Pretty much bang on that point when we left it, actually. But, Obviously you got chance for the loco to run around and so forth. I haven't got the end of the timetable on because I've got an old one. Old marathon. Do you believe nearby? Because we actually don't have enough running on train, but there you go. And in theory, since with the TSW3 sort of stuff, with timetables being too uh, changeable, Missing, t missing signal box, missing dummy dummy signals as well. Me being very trees not there. Missing shoehorn right here for the token. Trees are not here in real life. Somewhere buried in this lot is the signal box, which is actually being uncovered now. Somewhere about that point, I think it is. Off the top of my head. So yeah, there's a couple things missing. Like that, there, yeah, but back onto it. They could have obviously the two, two in the summer months. Because I'm not going to go through the set so all on this day, on that day. What time? What time was this from? Two thousand. What's the front page you want to? Uh, guessing it is. An old one. Twenty seventeen. Does it time date books this one? This one? Kind of yeah it does. Because obviously you've got this time date is not date anyway. But for small books say there's a bit there's a train on red timetable, one every half hour pretty much. It's probably the best way to say it. More or less anyway. Pretty much every half hour until you get to the midday sort of time frame. Then it goes a little bit longer due to lunch breaks and so forth. But then it goes back to pretty much every half hour. Blue and red, green once an hour because there's only one train running. When it comes to obviously for the steam railway for the for loco side of things to come with it, I'm gonna say. It. Caliborn straight away for being the, the royal engine for the railway and probably the one that will have the most fun fun with driving skill for driving because yeah it's a different way of driving instead of an yeah. all of them will be actually because only the oats have a screw link it's not screw link no screw reverser all the others have the big massive lever frame so obviously Double Journey for Cowborn, both terriers, W8 and W8 Freshport and W11 Newport, either 4298 and four, either 4313, Hunslet 198, Royal Engineer, and Hunslet 192 Wagoner. They're out for Steam Locos because currently that's, all, that's the current, I won't say fully current Steam rate because 8's out for overhaul, 198's out for a repaint that current. <laughs> Which is badly needed. And obviously, to, to for that, that's that's probably the best ones. They're the ones which I think for theme side of things that could be picked from. Then for diesel, it's pretty much a class O three, which is the D D twenty fifty nine, which is the Thunderbird loco, which a couple of weeks ago was broken and knackered, so we didn't have one. Um, when it comes to, obviously you got P-Ray, but I don't think that'll be any point. Then for future DLC for to the island, you could add the Class O5, Nuclear Thread, which was dumped by Briar. 
She's in British Heart of Green now. Obviously, 235 out of Diesels. And then for the other Steam Lyco is Invincible. I uh, tend to dive at 46447. Um, I can't do you number, but she's in, she's in locomotion, so that will be very unrealistic. But I'm going to add it to the list for now. And um, 38 Ajax, but falsely 37 Invincible as well. And obviously, all seen locals on the island have air brakes. So, a bit different to everything else, to be honest. Especially when it comes down to all of all the stock, because none of it is modern and new. It was all hand me downs, like online, so though it is today. Of hand me downs, we've even got Waterloo City City stuff now dumped to us because they are like because I'm nine didn't want it anymore. So yeah, um, when it comes to anything else for the island, there's not much else that can be done. Perhaps a bit more detail that ride with perhaps some boats on the water, the hovercrafts even. To be added as scenery. And that's probably about it. With perhaps birds flying around. <laughs> perhaps. As well. Just to just put it with the theme. That is on the picture with birds. If I remember rightly. On the actual. Um, root art. It itself. Which is in there. It had birds on it. And if I go just to prove that. The time. That is completely wrong. I'm not going to bother talking about the livery in the 484. That's down to licensing. Off the. Oh, look. When it comes to. Off the, this is more realistic. Still missing the. Oh, look. Missing the signal box, down my ease, and so forth. Which is ground signals. But this is a bit more realistic. Oh, look. To what small book is in real life. Mine is isn't now cleared. But. For it set and then set up for the Steam Rare DLC side, it can have Steam Zones layer on from Island 9 layer onto it. And I'm gonna say it, you might, it might as well be the 404's timetable with the cup and bottom station raised up by that. Um, so yeah, then vice versa, obviously for, for both Island 9 routes, can have the Steam layer onto it, to be honest. I'm not too I wouldn't be too fussed about that. Because it wouldn't be too bad to be honest. Because because obviously the 484s would just sort both over it. Cal Warren, 24 and so forth. 24 Terriers and so forth. So yeah. So far the only thing that 484s I'm missing is 8. <laughs> so yeah. Due to that's been out for overhaul. Off the Invincible, Ajax. Yarmouth, that's something which is another like which they could add as a future DLC. So yeah, there's a quite a decent amount there which can be done. Sounds for the four eight four are actually quite good to be honest. Obviously that's how they are should probably look like minus one part of the station. But the four eight four timetable, I'm gonna actually say could have an upgrade to to, to the current timetable. Get back up there. Which is, where's, where's the out of place PI sideboards? Oh wait, they actually didn't have the out of place PI sideboards on this one, apart from that. But it's, instead of it being once an hour, it's once, it's two trains to do that. Two trains all day, passing all the way down here at Braden. Some gas, which they could kind of try and do, and that is to do the signal box on the original. I really would have to admit they should remove the people on this platform when there's no trains due because that's really unrealistic, and that's on both far line roads. When it comes to the I'll oh, use the old one again for this, but the mum switch to steam arrow doesn't run. Which is probably the worst because this is 2017. No, it's not. I just didn't bother putting the months down that we didn't run on the timetable. 
<laughs> but June, um, not June, January and February trains don't run, run for it, but I'm going to put it out there and say just for the fun of getting mechanic side of things for layering on stuff, I think they could keep that to be honest because they would have to be changing the island on timetable more all the times. And also November, the steam trains don't run. And also there's only select, it's only running on select days, it's only on pretty much during the summer month, we run every day type of run. And that is something which is true at the moment. Because we've only just started recently running the Saturday service due to the days and the price of call. So, yeah, feel free to help out your local heritage railways. Or just visit them and hope they, so they can stay alive. So, I'm on the. Yeah, okay, I'm going over Because that is actually the uh, sandbox, is still, I believe. I think they've kept it. Those, if I go oh, all the way over here. Zap over the line. The speed limits are slightly wrong now, but I'm not going to too worried about that. If I go down here, there is a there is a, a small version of that sandbox, pretty much down here, just before the buffers, and it's only over the just over the tracks. But for just for this, there's no point. But for if this for the future, for the steam Mario DLC, try and get it more realistic. I don't think there's a gate here in real life. I think it's just barbed wire. Invisible wall one and a half. But yeah. And also, the level crossing that's down here now, I won't go up to it. Apart from being a. It was, it is down to, I think, 30 mile an hour now. It's been reduced down to. Just for the level crossing. Instead of it being maximum of 45. That it has had a, an upgrade date recently, but for this, I'm not too worried. Like speed limits, I'm not too worried about. So yeah, and so which could be done is I know that they have footfall during rush hour and so forth on every other on quite a few routes now. With it doubling over it and so forth, more passengers turn up. Well, that could be slightly added to on both on nine routes to be honest and made it so only select stations were more busy but have it so um you get it looked like the holiday traffic in some respects have turned up to the island and the main station before that is ride pierhead and ride esplanade due to the back that's used as the tram line and also Sandbound and Strangton can get a bit busy here and there as well. And also, the Sea Maui can also get a little bit more busy, during, will get busier during the summer months, any as well, with more footfall and so forth. I think that's but there's a point of view I'm missing. Because that's manual. And the other end's got the signal box on it. But yeah, more people will get off here as well. And wait for the steam railway. Without hopefully the AI decide this bad. <laughs> like they did in real life. That's what should be. You're not the only one that does it. That other nine does it in real life. They have kind of tried to make it like to give us that's a toilet in my life. And then over there there's a container for it. So I think that's a bit too much information. So um I'm gonna go to the Scoot Brayden. No flip it five minutes from ten o'clock just so it makes the drain get that a little bit more quicker. Go in and I'm not gonna go into too much about for for a few should say Steam Arrow DLC, so I'm not gonna go in and go, oh that's that, that, that and this and that and this and that to um type of thing with other with everything else. I 
and I don't mind about this bridge being here. I prefer this bridge and it's about pathetic things they added. But before anything, because they've obviously got a good relationship for the island. The reason why they've got this, to be honest, because that's the official one. That's actually not the fact that you can't technically read all the signals. All the levers are meant to do, but obviously that is the accurate to what it was like. So yeah, and at the same time, something which they could do is obviously the Steam Days version of the line, and actually say, to be honest, to all the signal boxes on the island, have it like that, so you can actually act fake being the signal one. Something which they could actually do on every, quite a few, if they do any other heritage railways or something like that. And actually have it so you fair enough like this none of it you can't touch any of the levers the bells for single line and so forth for like, telegraph or phones or technically there should be in here possibly on this shelf they would have been the single line token strip positions and so forth for, for the line to Brembridge for the line to, to ride there wouldn't be more for that way because that was double track. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff which could be done. Apparently it's not until one minute past. Have I missed the drain by the chance? But yes, I did. But yeah, that's just a little bit other things, and I'm gonna put it out for mechanic-wise for the game. Have it so you've got gates like that for an example. I'm going to say it, have it so you can open them, open them and shut them behind you type of thing. So it acts like you can cross the level crossing without faking it like that, for example. <laughs> and once again, get it back up again, instead of once again faking it and getting yourself run over. What was that? Yes, that was it. They are here. They don't, they ignore them now. Because I'm pretty certain I've never seen a train go five mile an hour past this point. They do whistle though, quite often, when there's people down here. Oh, that's actually a wall, a bit more of a hard wall with a wooden fence, to be fair. Can't bother the size of it. But yeah. Because I'm not going to say anything about like, oh, I should add that pool and so forth, can keep them, but I'm not too bothered about them. I don't mind just doing this, <laughs> to be fair, there's sometimes. Fuck off, Bergen. And I like a single one. But yeah, truth, you know, I'm bored. Come on, that would be nice. It's quite loony. Because that would not be saying sand down, because, yeah, like I said, that was double tracked. <laughs> proof and then it would have been single track to um, Braden Braden uh, to Brembridge I mean which is that one there that side which was this side of the line this bit here was the line for Brembridge Braden Brembridge which actually did start start which has closed back in 1955 and was uh, the full track was removed by 958 I think I think they removed it by that point but left the platform free in pre to be used if necessary for for such trains that say if they had ever needed to the push trains in and out of here and I think they kept they might have kept one parked up over there then one was they dumped I believe one on that side as well one and I think that was actually the train that did one of the trains that did the line to Bright Rembridge before they were scrapped, which was the first ones to get scrapped to be fair because they were actually the only, there was like two that were scrapped after the Brembridge line shut. Can't remember which ones it was, but they were the only ones fitted with push pull on the island. And then obviously the line continued on, it was double track still up until 1989 I think, 
8988, I think it was, it was either 88 or 89, when the double track got removed, when it got converted. The single track, then, which obviously lasted until um, 2020, when they reinstated the platform to it, but kept the line off that single track all the way out to Sandown. And obviously Sandown, I oh uh, did have a signal box as well, which ran this line between sing the uh, um, signals around Sandown for that area, then one at Shanklin, which did that area, Rock for that area, then the, that half of it, and then the station itself type of thing. Like there was a signal box, oh, like I said, up, up here for small work, for small junction, obviously one for the for wide Esplanade. By St John's, and then one on the pier, which was about here, I think, with the diamond on the pier, with obviously four tracks on the pier at the pier head station itself, and possibly a train leaving there every 15 minutes. I think service pattern wise for down the vent was one, the, though the full line was once an hour, and just as Anne Shank. Down to Shanklin was once an hour, was once every hour, but that went every like, half hour. Every um, once one train every half hour sort of thing, I think, believe. And then the odd time, I think during that during the summer months, that was a little bit more frequent because I, just trains did pass at what Roxall for two trains. I think the Shanklin services might have. Being stopped might have been the ones that continued on down to Ventnor, but I'm not sure. I've got a time table to look at, to be honest. We're we'll starting to change. For dying out reasons. But, I don't know. What's that? Maybe the drop there, it's not just a fuck around. So, yeah. I'm going to leave it here then, guys. I'll probably end up flunging this onto the um, forums, to be honest, as well. Like I did with the bug list, but I might do a couple more videos first. And then let, throw them up. And, and probably add some more on the list, wise. As well, by that point. But I'll probably wait for a couple of days before I do that now, to be honest. It's got to upload and go through the YouTube process and the lark first. But once again, don't get so comment any other ideas down below. I'd probably may if I do see them before I upload, upload, put it onto the forums and stuff. Once it's so, like, oh shit, I'll it up to then as well. And just for this, it's just for online. I will go through all the other routes. It, I'll cut in the future as well. And I thought I'd do the online first because it is my local. It's, if you haven't noticed yet, with the steam railway as well, me be volunteer down there. Come on, you know what? And then I'm gonna have to do a lot more research into most of the other routes, so <laughs> yeah. So, because I can guarantee, apart from both our lines, I raise a line, I'm gonna have to do research, I'm gonna have to do a lot of research on all of these routes just for everything else to be honest I think the only route that probably won't need to be took at I'm going to have to make a massive guess out of all, all of these like, I'm not sure because yeah oh dear might be paid to Coral because I think that has all the locos that ran on run on the line I'm gonna ignore the fact that obviously the safety systems aren't there and Castle Wolfsburg because I'm not fully sure what runs on that line to be honest I think South Eastern might almost have everything so Sam Parish as well I'm not sure on that one if anything else runs on it minus passenger service wise which is the same of Cahoon and Kane as well Obviously, hard on mine. I think I have almost all the services. And for this, I'm just going to focus on the that so that the the MTA proper service-wise, not the others for that. Yes, I decided to sort it. 
Boston once again. I'm not sure. I think I might have all the serves pattern wise ish. But I'm not American. Long Island could do a massive hit. Obviously, um, London Brighton could do a massive hit. And <laughs> then Munich Oldsburg needs a massive hit as well. So, yeah. Obviously, the sounds could be blocked by a nice battery for both, for, for, for the 5, for the, I mean, and also for this as well, the sound could be a lot better for, for, for that as well, in some respects it, that, the sound from that, from the 938 choosed off London Underground, wherever it is on the list, is on there somewhere, there's, they could, they could easy enough move over to that to be honest, because it's the same exact sound. There's no difference at all in the motor sounds, but as far as I'm, I believe, due to fair enough, that's third rail converted, converted was converted third rail, but nothing was changed apart from that. Bit of smoothness of the train might have been a lot more smoother back then, <laughs> but <laughs> back in the 1938, the 1938s were in service and one another round, but hey, oh. but. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to be like the Bakerloo actually, it's probably not going to need too much making from me because there's nothing else running on it at the current state of time. To be honest. So, yeah. I'm going to leave it here then, guys, so don't get like, comment, and subscribe. No, you'll have an awesome day. And goodbye.